to add uh, external programs in bio edit sequence editor so that's one of the reasons why I like this bio edit sequence editor because you can add third party softwares or programs which can especially run the command line so even if it is a GUI you can add them into your uh, the menu of accessory applications and you can use directly that program for sequences which are open in bio edit <coughs> directly from this menu so for example uh, today uh, I'm going to add a sequence alignment program named as muscle and it's a pretty uh, good piece of software which is uh, much faster than cluster debut and I often see it does pretty good alignment between uh, DNA or protein sequences so first of all I'm going to download it from the uh, their home uh, website and the name of the website is drive and uh, if you go to the software options they have uh, several softwares just go to the muscle go to the download section and I'm going to use the one for the windows because bio edit is for windows so I'm going to download that software and save it in default location my computer automatically saves them in the download folder you can copy that from there or cut it from there go to your bio edit app folder which is in the C drive bioedit folder and apps here uh, bioedit keep all the application executable files which we use uh, during the sequence analysis I'm going to paste that I already have a copy in here so it is going to ask me copy and replace and I'll say yes and so here it is once you have it uh, pasted into the bioedit apps folder go back to your bioedit go to the accessory application and we are going to use add remove modify in accessory application menu this opens up a small uh, option window here you can uh, specify what kind of program you are adding and what kind of input and output it is going to produce any other options which the program needs to run you can specify all these here so uh, we are going to actually type the name and I want to tell you that there is a bug in this uh, I don't know it's just my version I got or it's for all the bioedit uh, program when you start typing after every character it is going to ask for confirmation if you are done with the naming or not so I'm going to uh, type uh, M and just say no for the option is asking and I have to do it for all the characters I am going to type so I'll give it a name muscle So before we give it any option we need to know how does the program run and for example I'm going to show you uh, the program in the command line how does it run and what options it needs. So I already have uh, moved to that bioedit apps folder and if I type the muscle.exe it gives me uh, the help uh, option where it says that basic usage is like you have to type muscle and then you have to use this uh, flag dash in and you have to give a space between give the input file name and then dash out and give the output file name besides that it has other options which you can use to change the uh, parameters for the search and uh, other than in and out it has diax which makes it faster for similar sequences it try to find diagonals between sequences max iters is the number of iteration it is going to do to uh, find the mm, to do the alignment and the by default it has does the 16 uh, maximum 16 uh, iterations but if it finds the uh, alignment before then that it just uh, stop it can stop at m to run sometimes if you have a complex sequence there's a lot of sequences and then you don't want it to run forever so you can specify here how long your program should run default is like no limit it will keep running till it finds the optimal alignment or reaches the maximum number of iteration uh, you can also uh, tell the program to produce the output file in certain format by default it produces in the faster format but if you want in cluster w format you can just add this flags dot clw and it will uh, produce the output in cluster w format so these are the options once we know that let's go back to the bioedit uh, add program menu and now 
we are going to select uh, the options we want the pro uh, cluster w not cluster w actually muscle program to get from this bio date first of all we want to auto feed the sequences uh, so we don't want uh, to manually go and uh, save a file and give a name so we want it to auto feed the sequence to the program we can also uh, say that the format will be faster we want it to feed in a faster format uh, uh, we also have to actually first of all we need to specify where the program is so the second option in front of program you say specify it takes you directly to the apps folder and there you can select uh, the muscle program you just have downloaded and copy and paste it there you say open and it puts the uh, system path for that Uh, okay, so now command line formatting for input and output field. We want uh, spaces between input prefix and command. So we, as you have seen, that you have to uh, use dash in and you have to give a space before you write the file name. So we need to select that. Uh, we do use uh, input prefix, and we know that's like dash in. And it's uh, always a good idea to just put a space front and after, just in case by it doesn't. Uh, but proper just give a dash o u t space for uh, output prefix input name is required output name is required but we are going to make it arbitrary we don't have to uh, we don't need to assign it so but if you if your program does need assign like sometimes file programs they do look for in file or out file as a in uh, you can uh, just assign that file name here and then program will save your sequence in that with that name before it uh, passes to the pro uh, program uh, we also uh, need to add input file to the command line at the beginning and add output file to the command line we can say add it at the end even at the beginning is fine and at the end is also ok doesn't matter uh, this section deals with the checkboxes and this is helpful when you have to give extra parameters I want to give the user option to add extra parameters for here so right now we are not going to use that and uh, we'll come back to this one again and then show what we can use this for okay and then once the output is done we need to actually open it as an alignment so we can see it inside the bio edit so we need to select this option also let's see uh, actually I wanted to decap the sequences also before we feed it to the program Oh yeah, we need this one because we do need a space between output prefix and command. Let's test this. Restart. Go to open file. Open this one. Go to import sequence alignment second sequence select both of them by pressing comp using control a go to application muscles run application and let's see what we got oh good so it did the alignment as you've seen it aligned the sequences using muscle instead of cluster w and it did pretty good job okay so this was how you add uh, third party program into your bio edit now we go back to that uh, add program menu and remember i was talking about the check boxes where you can we can give extra options so let's go and see how to use them so for that we go back to accessory application add modify program and there we select the muscle and now uh, we wanted to add some check boxes because if you go back to the command line where we run that muscle and if you see there are several options we can um, use it to improve the alignment so let's uh, add this max iteration number of maximum iteration program should do as one of the options and the same way you can add any of those uh, let's do this one so max iters actually requires a uh, option uh, it requires an input from uh, the user so if you want to use it you have to write dash dash max iters space and the number of iteration you want it to do other than that there are several options which are just flags so if you, if this flag is present 
program will uh, perform in a certain way uh, so let's go and use both to uh, type when you have to add a flag and when you have to as add a uh, number or some extra parameters to the option so we, we are going to add a uh, dash diags and max eaters so let's go back and uh, use the checkbox let's go add and modify checkboxes are uh, good for uh, using flag so we are going to, I'm going to do use diags and this is just the title I'm going to give to that parameter and if uh, it is going to ask you what uh, <coughs> it should add into the command line if it is checked and what if it is not so if it is checked then we are going to add the I A G S that was the uh, parameter if you see here so we're going to ask it to add this uh, into the command line let's give one space in after and um, before so that it doesn't get uh, mixed up with the other parameters and if it is not checked then we don't need to give uh, anything so just put a one space in there and if you want it the default state checked you can select this option if you don't want default checked then you can leave it open I'm going to leave it uh, unchecked and you click OK so if you click this uh, down arrow you will see that it has uh, one option for check box boxes which says use diags other parameters uh, which need uh, some input from the user they are called inputs and I'm going to add one I'm going to call it max iters you can call whatever you want doesn't matter but the command prefix you're going to give is important and the command prefix it needs is that max iters give a space default value if you want uh, I'm going to give it 16 and then uh, associate a checkbox allow option to use input or not so and default state is unchecked and you can call it like max iters so I and default state I'm going to do make it unchecked and click OK and modify close it and it will ask you to uh, restart let's restart the program and then let's open the alignment or the sequence we need import the next sequence the sequence alignment I'm going to select both of them go to oh I think I missed one thing go to muscle and oh no actually I didn't so if you click max iters then it will uh, then it will going to use it uh, if you don't select it then it is not going to use it you can say ma use dialogs max iters and you can change the number of iteration you want and you say run applications it is going to run the program and open the output inside bioedit there you go so you can highlight and see what areas are similar so the similar uh, any column which has the same or similar matching <coughs> nucleotides that will be shaded if there is any which is not then it might not be shaded so I think it's a good job so that's all for this video see you in the next video